Hi, Virgo Summon Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for September 18, 2023. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got Crystal Sage Incense, Personal Readings, and much more. Let's get a Virgo's coming with the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the King of Cups. This person here, you guys might be dealing with somebody who's very much so successful with the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. But nonetheless, there is a lot of sadness and a lot of heartbreak between the two of you guys. I feel like this person may have told you the truth over some sort of, over this situation with the Three of Swords or the Ace of Swords, which has caused you guys to feel a little bit sad and depressed. Maybe they got themselves involved with somebody else and maybe they betrayed you in some sort of way which is why you guys might be very much so upset with the King of Cups in reverse. But there is a lot of pain here, a lot of sadness. But just be glad that you guys know the truth with the Ace of Sword energy. There is a lot of healing that needs to be done with the Temperance card. So always be patient. Be patient with your emotions. Be patient with yourselves. Be patient with the things that you guys are dealing with. And don't be blaming yourself for why things worked out the way that it did but nonetheless uh, you guys lost nothing in the situation because you guys got two cups behind you guys that the angels are they said orchestrating in order for them to bring you guys the blessings that you guys are needing it looks like you guys have lost a lot not just in this situation but things that may have happened between now and the last three years or between now and the last eight years specifically but they're saying the things that you may have lost was never for you anyway. So Spirit and the angels are orchestrating two blessings that are going to come towards you guys. So lift your head up, Virgos, and count your blessings. With the King of Cups in reverse, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, this person might be very upset. And they may not be really talking to you guys at the moment. But the wheel is going to start turning and they're going to come towards you with the Wheel of Fortune Chariot card and the Nine of Pentacles. This person wants to come towards you, but they're coming in very, very fast. It's almost like this person is going to come running for you guys. Maybe at the near end of Mercury retrograde. So although retrograde is for Mercury is going to go direct on uh, the Wheel of Fortune chariot. So, the, so this is going to be happening maybe on September 22nd. And furthermore, when Mercury starts to go direct and they're coming towards you pretty fast. Uh, maybe now they're not talking to you and they're really upset, but they are trying to get their thoughts in order with the four of swords to come towards you guys. They're coming in very, very fast for you guys, Virgos. And in the end, this person is hoping that you guys are still single, but this is going to be coming into the future. I cannot go any further than that. All they're telling me is that whatever ends up happening, a lot of you guys may not really want to speak on it and whatever ends up happening in this connection between the two of you guys, it will be between you, yourself and them. And I don't really feel like you guys are going to communicate with your friends or tell anybody about them coming back towards you. You're just simply going to keep it to yourself, Nine of Pentacles. All right. Uh, yes, Virgo. So this person may have tried to manipulate you guys with the Magician card, Ace of Pentacles. Maybe trying to make it look like they have something to offer you, but then come to the realization that they had nothing to offer you, but only had something to offer themselves. King of Pentacles is upright, but the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse, so the Knight of Cups is in reverse. And you guys are not dealing with anyone's bullshit. Uh, with the Queen of Swords, you made the decision to cut this person off because you felt like whatever they were saying to you was not efficient. They were being deceptive and emotionally manipulative as well. So you guys decided to move on with your life and defend yourself and allow this energy to come to a complete ending with the Tower card. But even though this person may love you and still be attracted to you, you guys can still sense each other's emotions and feelings, which is causing you guys to be a little bit out of balance with the Two of Pentacles and the Lover's card. Yeah, you moved on, but you guys' energy is still connected with each other. So this person's energy is coming back in and they're going to be showing up in your energy right now because they're in your energy and you're in their energy. Why are you in their energy? Because they're thinking about you, which is causing you guys imbalance with the Two of Pentacles. So you guys are going to have to be going back and forth trying to figure out on whether or not you're going to stay or go when they end up reaching back out to you guys again. The worst thing about this is, is that they have a pentacle to offer you, but they chose to not give that to you and they chose to be greedy about it. Coming into the future, you guys walked away from the past and you called it like good riddance, you'll take the loss. But because of that, you learned what your self-love is, you learned your self-value and you guys have leveled up completely with the Empress energy. You're not suffering the way that they thought you were going to be suffering. You're not lonely. You're not in poverty. You're looking better than ever. Empress energy. And you don't really care to be indulging back with people, places, and things that are from the past with the Six of Cups. 
even if this person tries to come back towards you and tell you that they miss you, it's going to be very hard for them to get back into your energy because now that you know what you're worth, you're not going to allow anyone to make you guys feel inadequate in any way, shape, and form. I feel like this person too with the four of wands, they simply just want to get you guys back, but it might be a little bit challenging. So they're going to have to try and find a way to plot and plan with the seven of pentacles to come back towards you guys with the strength card in reverse. They're hoping that you guys will forgive them because they know that they took advantage of you guys, but expect an apology coming in. But even then, they even if they do come towards you guys, you guys are going to be speaking to each other, meeting up with each other face to face, but they're going to be feeling very proud and happy that they're going to be able to get you guys back. They are apologizing to you with the Page of Cups, but they might not feel so strong or confident with the strength in reverse that they're going to be able to achieve what is it they're trying to achieve with the Page of Cups, but it looks like they're going to end up actually achieving it with the Six of Wands. So they're not so confident with the Strength card to the Page of Cups. So they're coming in as a page right now and hoping that you guys are going to meet up with them, which you will. So if this person takes action to actually come through, make amends with you, then you're going to accept it. Two of Cups, Six of Wands, they come back towards you guys and you guys are now in a connection with each other. Page of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. You guys are speaking about the future. You guys are speaking about your aspirations, what it is that you're looking for. It is going to start off slowly, but then in the end, you guys could potentially end up getting everything that it is that you guys want. With the At the bottom of the deck, you guys got the Seven of Cups. <laughs> Seven of Swords, it's just a lot of anxiety in the energy, Virgos, like a ton of anxiety regarding the two of you guys, because when this person actually, it's not even on the spread, but I, but the energy is energy, so I, in turn, it's like, when the, they obviously did something behind your back that you didn't appreciate, and now that they, they're not confident, they're not confident to apologize to you, so maybe it took them a while for them to come back towards you guys, so even when they do come for you, it's going to cause you guys a little bit of anxiety, trying to get you guys, you guys are going to end up getting back into your heads a little bit, trying to figure out what the next moves and what the next steps are going to be. But you guys are looking for a relationship. And if this person is not going to be able to, so it's crazy because it's the seven of cups to the seven of swords. This person is actually running away from their options. They're looking back at their options with the seven of cups to the seven of swords and they're sneaking away from their options. They're sneaking, they're, it's crazy. They're actually sneaking away from their options. Seven of cups, seven of swords. They're like, ah, it's time for me to get that out of here. And they're ready to come in with a commitment with the Hierophant. They look like they're done putting uh, the work into um, not realistic options. Maybe their options were not realistic. Maybe their allusions to what fantasies look like was just not realistic. So now that they know that all their options ain't shit, they're going to come running back towards you guys. They're going to sneak away from that, hoping that they can build a connection with you guys, Hierophant. And work on this connection with you. It could be an Aquarius, a Taurus as well. Uh, but it might be a little bit stuck and stagnated right now. So you're going to have to probably wait. <laughs> but then nobody's waiting for nobody. So it's up to you guys, Virgos, on what it is that you choose to do. Uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius, this person is going to take action to come running back for you, to speak to you, to communicate with you. If they're not able to pick up their feet, you guys are going to slowly make a way out of this connection and perhaps call it an ending with the death card. But it's crazy too, though, because even though the Knight of Pentacles is to the death card, you're right here. And you're right here again. And you're, they're there. They got to make a move quickly in order for them to be able to get you. You're like, listen, I have a pentacle to offer you. Are you making the changes in your life? Or are you going to continuously act slow and stagnated and take forever to make a decision? This, are they obviously are infatuated with you with the star card to the ace of cups somebody here could be working with magic too with the star card and the ace of cups to try and find a way to make a love spell on you guys to come for you but if they keep doing this type of shit onto you guys you're not tolerating it at all you're done and over with it and somebody here may have been doing lots of tons of love spells on you guys but it looks like they're getting all the way up because of what they've done to you uh for for trying to force your hand with the d card and the ten of swords this definitely had to come to a complete ending, but in the end, they are going to try and come back towards you guys again, and, and, and so you guys are going to have to expect communication. Maybe this person worked for the government too. So because of the fact that you guys went through so much uh, darkness with this person and a lot of endings, they are definitely going to have to make the changes in order for them to come towards you guys correctly. But until then, you guys might be a little bit indecisive and having to make the choice coming in on the full moon energy on whether or not you're going to want to put in the work with the eight of pentacles and the four of pentacles. You are protecting your energy at this time, 
uh, because you don't want to be back in a connection with somebody who acts like a fool. You don't want to be foolish jumping back into a relationship with this person, just like simply being a fool, like because you already know what they did to you the first time. So what you're worried about is if you're going to end up doing it the second time. It's like being a fool makes you guys happy, like just simply living freely, doing what it is that you guys want. And as much as you guys want to have that free spirit energy between you and this person, it's like you still you got to watch your back in some sort of way, because the last thing you're going to want to do is put yourself back in a vulnerable state with somebody who may have not treated you all that well, but you are their happiness and they're very passionate about you and they want to give to you and they want to see you. They want to heal the relationship, Virgo energy, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Leo, Aries energy. Could be also Virgo on Virgo energy too, Six of Swords. They want to come towards, they want to communicate to you. They want you, you're their wish fulfillment, you're their happiness. And they're trying to, it looks like they're trying to escape from a really toxic, uh, low vibrational energy that caused them nothing but bre uh, bread. Somebody here needs to stop eating bread. You know, you're eating too much bread. <laughs> Stop with the bread. <laughs> okay. With the devil card to the ten of they're right they're it looks like they're trying to run away from this low vibrational energy that they was dealing with or whatever kind of lifestyle that they were living. They are trying to get away from that because that obviously causes them nothing but stress and burden and grief, thinking that that lifestyle was the right way to go. But in the end, they come to the realization that they want to be free from that. And they simply want to be with you, Queen of Cups. You are everything and more for this person. And they feel like you heal them in some sort of way, which is very nice. But them being low vibrational, manipulative, and selfish is the reason why you guys got your guard up and the why, why you listen to your intuition with the moon card. Like, you don't allow your intuition to deceive you. You listen to your intuition at all times. And you guys see everything for what it is. Even if you can't feel, even if you can't understand it, you can sense it and feel it. But you guys are going to have to figure out on whether or not you're going to stay and go. Somebody here may not want to close up the cycle between the two of you guys. They do want to work the relationship out, especially between now and the nine, next nine weeks, but definitely in the month of October, uh, October 9th, October 2nd, expect the message coming in from this person. They're still holding on to your energy and they're stressed and worried that you're never going to forgive them, but do expect more communication. It's almost like this person, you're seeing that this person is stressed out or they're going through something but you're not really doing a whole lot to help them out with the page of swords. You're like, what's wrong with you? Like, why are you stressed out? Why are you, why are you tripping for? And maybe this person's not really telling you why they're tripping out, but expect the message in the month of October, uh, October 2nd, October 9th. <sighs> a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, a lot of despair. Somebody here is going to be dreaming about an owl. Somebody here is trying to find the wisdom, the clarity that they need in order for them to not lose you. This person wants to obviously balance out the connection. They don't want the connection to be over with. They know that they may have taken you for granted, but now that they're learning their lessons, they want to do right by you guys. Thanks, cuties. Bye.